Denny, for you, so many big moments for you this year, some high, some low, a couple trips to victory lane. What really stands out to you as maybe the defining moment of your season? Well, I, I think, you know, the thing I think about with our 11 FedEx team is that we're so close. I mean, we're, we're really close to, to the goals that we want to achieve. Uh, obviously, any year without a championship is not a successful year uh, in, by our standards. Uh, so we're just going to keep digging and try to get our goals, get to the homestead with a shot at a championship, uh, see if we can't uh, make a run for it. But uh, proud of our whole team, you know, setting you know, career highs and fi top fives, top tens, and, and a low average finish uh, this year. It's just showing that you know, we're definitely heading in a step in the right direction. All right, congrats on a great season. Jimmy, for you, everyone was kind of waiting in the playoffs for that big Jimmy Johnson 48 team moment. It didn't quite come. You didn't make it to the championship four. Just how tough was the level of competition this season and this new format? Yeah, the, this, uh, this series is extremely difficult, and a huge congratulations to Martin Truex and the whole Furniture Row team. Um, stage racing has changed the game, and it's just amplified everything, and it made it much more intense. Uh, we got off to a good start uh, at the beginning of the season, unfortunately just didn't finish how we wanted to, but uh, a lot of hard work went into it from everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, big thank you to Lowe's, Chevrolet, and all the partners that are involved on our uh, race team, and uh, we're excited and ready to get going in Daytona here shortly. Get back to chasing eight? Absolutely. We, we want it badly, but uh, it's been a great run of seven, and I uh, look forward to the years to come, and uh, we'll see if we can get it. All right. Congratulations on a strong season. We look forward to watching both of you back in 2018.